So let's recap what we have gone through in the last session. Good morning, Shardul. Good morning, Ritesh. Good morning, Danesh. Good morning, Dharmaratta. Good morning, Keshav. Thank you, Chandrasekhar. Thank you, Shreyas. Thank you, Shardul. Thank you, Sumit. Thank you, Danesh. Thank you, Prajot. Thank you, Keshav. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you, Ritesh. Thank you, Mandar. Thank you, Alroy. Thank you, Akash. Thank you, Prajot. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you, Aditya. Thank you all for your wonderful wishes. So let's recap what we have gone through in the previous session. So we have started by Delhi Metro Rail Corporation, DMRC, whose headquarters is situated at New Delhi. Then Export Inspection, Export Inspection Council of India, EIC, New Delhi, Export Import Bank of India, known as Exim Bank, Mumbai, Engineering Export Promotion Council, EEPC, New Delhi. Employers Provident Fund Organization, EPFO, New Delhi. Employees State Insurance Corporation, ESIC, New Delhi. Election Commission of India, ECI, New Delhi. Engineers India Limited, EIC, New Delhi. Export Credit Guarantee Corporation of India, ECGC, Mumbai. Food Corporation of India, FCI, New Delhi. Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and Industry, FICCI, New Delhi. Film and Television Institute of India, FTII, Pune. Food Safety and Standard Authority of India, FSSAI, New Delhi. And I think the second last we have gone through Federation of Indian Export Organization, FIEO, New Delhi. And the last one we have as an as an organization we have seen was Geological Survey of India, GSI, which is at Kolkata. And in between these, we have also looked into the objectives of national food policy. So the first objective just recap was about effective price support right 
that that is always being operate uh, that that is always being having operations to safeguard the interest of poor farmers then second objective is about distribution of food grains throughout the country after distributing this you have to always maintain a satisfactory level of the stock of food grains and overall you have to always think about the regulation of the market price to provide food grains to the consumers at reliable prices so in this way we have gone through some of the organizations now in this session we will further move with some other organizations i think you have put it before putting notebook now the information of gsi is in front of you anyway so today you will be seeing some of the organizations in which most of the names or the most of the short forms you must have heard before this fine so let's consider the next one jl limited so we can jl limited you know this particular uh, jl which is at new delhi But here the question is, what stands for jail, right? Or what the abbreviation jail stands for? So you know, it is nothing but currently it is only known as jail. Uh, no, Alu was limited. I couldn't get it. And so jail limited, we can consider. See, formerly. it was known as the gas authority of india gas authority of india fine so gas authority of india is nothing but the in fact it was called uh, gas authority of india limited is called jail right fine what exactly it is so it is nothing but the government of india's undertaking company right which is a largest state owned so it's a largest state owned largest natural gas processing and distribution company largest natural gas processing and sorry and distribution company fine it is working under the ministry of petroleum and natural gas petroleum and natural gas Fine. so 
largest natural gas processing and distribution company working under the Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas. So it has different segments of business such as natural gas, liquefied, uh, liquefied petroleum gas, uh, liquid hydrocarbon, petrochemicals, then uh, exploration and production, city gas distribution. Right? So if you consider the metro cities, so you will be finding out their uh, liquefied petroleum gas transmissions. Right? So, or uh, the city gas distribution, Right. as well as some explorations and production so all all are the different segments of this particular uh, limited or the organization which is having its headquarter at new delhi fine so gel limited the next one we can consider is general insurance corporation of india general insurance corporation of india that is g i c R E, whose headquarter is at Mumbai. So, what this general corporation, uh, general insurance corporation, right? So, G I C, uh, fine. Now, if you look into it then you will always come across this particular corporation which is related to the uh, the reinsurance company right it is it is nothing but a, a it is nothing but a reinsurance company in the indian insurance market right so the insurance company in Indian insurance market fine until the insurance market was opened for the foreign countries or the foreign reinsurance uh, place which we can consider right so who are the uh, or from which countries nowadays reinsurance companies are there in india right so always keep it in mind as this question has been there right? so from which just get from which countries right from which countries reinsurance companies are there in india which was happened very recently in 2016 so there are three countries Germany, uh, which one the General Insurance Corporation? What's the date? November. November is fine. No, November 1972. Yes, that's fine. No, 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 till 2016, it was the only company that I'm talking, right? So its establishment is of 1972, that's fine. But till 2016, this was the only thing which was looking into the, uh, or it was the 
alone reinsurance company in indian insurance market right which we can consider whole or the sole company right so germany nowadays there are companies from germany france and switzerland fine so from these three different countries now we do have some of the uh, reinsurance companies right you know in 2016 the fdi the foreign direct investment was uh, the rules have been changed and government of india have allowed or uh, they have extended the limit of fdi right so in in that particular uh, okay so next one we can consider is the hindustan petroleum corporation limited right so ye naam to kaafi saare logon ne suna hoga hindustan petroleum corporation limited hp cl where this hp cl is so this is at mumbai Find HP CL. Now, if you consider, it is again oil and natural gas company. Oil and natural gas company. Fine. So. Oh. it may not be okay we we'll do one thing anyway so you know it is india is one of the among public sector uh, one of the strongest companies among the public sector companies of india right as far as the marketing infrastructure is concerned yes around uh, 25% right so i may not be uh, aware exact percentage but as i know it is one of the uh, what we can say one, one of the largest among the public sector companies that's true right if it is 25% that is always uh, good right if you consider 25% is not small value right it has uh, we can consider it as largest one anyway fine so if you consider the um, oil and natural gas corporation right or the oil and natural gas company it's uh, is this particular thing fine uh, yes it would be always better if you could uh, know the managing directors or or let's say the chairman of these of organizations or the director some of these organizations will, will be having managing director some of these organizations will be have, uh, having chairman it is always good to know all these things right but you know you have to always uh, be updated right even every month you have to check whether the mds or the directors or the chairman have changed or replaced or something else right so that responsibility you have to always lay down on yourself because you know such a huge number and it's it's very difficult right at for but if you, if you all together do it then it is always very easy if you could distribute it but for me 
uh, for myself alone it is quite a difficult task anyway if you know md's then that is always good one fine so this is about hindustan petroleum corporation of india right or the corporation limited the next hindustan Aeronaut aeronautics limited hindustan aeronautics limited yet a l and its headquarter is at bangalore right so hindustan aeronautics limited you can consider right. now if you look towards the hindustan aeronautics limited so what about it is so it's it's an aerospace and aerospace and defense company right so it is aerospace and defense company which you can consider so uh, it is yes it is under uh, the ministry of defense right so what we can consider fine so you know uh, primarily it was involved in the operations of aerospace, uh, aerospace and currently it is having the design fabrication assembly of different uh, let's say warfare devices here such as aircrafts jet engines helicopters right so these are the different things and walchand hirachand yes as far as the uh, what we can consider founder is considered right so which we can uh, uh, as far as uh, the so it has several facilities across the india right? and i think uh, as far as our state is concerned so we do have their small unit or one of the units at nashik right so you must have heard about this right so as like Nashik, uh, there are uh, different places where it is uh, having their unit. Fine. So, involved in the operations of the aerospace. Operations of aerospace and currently it is very important or the one of the premier companies as far as our uh, aviation is concerned or we can consider the aerospace and the some of the defense defense devices so involved in uh, design fabrication it is not only designing and fabricating but also uh, assembling the different parts uh, so that we get the aircrafts or helicopters or you can consider the jet engines right uh, design and fabrication as well and here or if you want uh, you can consider here uh, as 
the assembling right so assembling is always or assembly is also being done by the parts you can assemble the aircraft or the helicopters fine you know hl is uh, hl has produced the uh, fighter bomber right or for example air fighter aircraft right whose name is i think uh, hf24 fighter bomber so this was its its first uh, fighter aircraft and which was made in india right so it's about the hal the next one is there anyone who can tell the long form of harco you must have heard about uh, the world harco right so it is nothing but housing and urban development corporation limited fine so housing and urban i think sidco starts from yes not yes instead of yes it it is c right c stand for city housing and urban development corporation limited it is called yes u d c o hatco its headquarters is at new delhi right see housing and urban development the uh, development corporation of uh, corporation limited right so h u d c o so here it is c o fine so hatco now what about uh, this particular is so housing and urban development corporation limited is is a government owned corporation and you know it is also one of the public sector undertakings fine so uh, it is it is under the ministry of housing and uh, urban affairs yes it was in the 970s exactly so it works under mm -hmm. ministry of housing and urban affairs right so it's a government owned corporation so what about it is looking shadul what is nsc and bsc and one more thing are you using laptop so hatco now what stands for sidco 
if you see most of the cities nowadays are having Haruko and Silko. Right. So Haruko and Silko are known, uh, you can consider as the parts of that particular city. Even Aurangabad is having Haruko and Silko. Right. So sometimes you will be having two different circles. That's in fact here there are two different circles which we can consider. City and Industrial Development Corporation. Right. So Silco stands for. Right. So Development Corporation Limited is common for these three letters. And for C yes, uh, CI, it is City and Industry. Right. Development Corporation, which you can consider. Fine. Now, next here is nowadays you are every day hearing its name. That is ICMR, Indian Council of Medical Research. Indian Council of Medical research that is ICMR.